to the good days, here's to the sorrows. If this is a mistake, I know about tomorrow. Currently using Innisfree, Innisfree Green Tea Balancing Cream is my go-to because um, I have oily skin and this is not too shiny. I've been giving my nails a little bit of break, but today we're gonna do my nails. I never vlogged from this angle before. I always vlog from the other angle because I don't think I like it because we have a lot of cloth here and then that light this camera doesn't do well against light so but I don't know I just thought I would try today also this is a painting that I've been working on recently but we'll talk about that more on later the flowers from the last vlog have bloomed so pretty you guys suggested that I cut the steam at an angle so I already did that I fixed that so thanks for letting me know and now they're blooming so pretty So I ordered some plums from Whole Food and it said it was around two something almost three dollars so I said not bad I'm gonna get me some plums and when it delivered it was just one plum and I did not know that one of these cost almost three dollars is that the price nowadays like I don't know I'm so confused but anyway we're gonna try it mm. it's super juicy It's actually really nice to wake up and have fruits in the morning. I rarely do that. Sometimes I should try eating just fruits in the morning before my actual breakfast. The sun is out so nicely outside. Maybe I should go get some vitamin D. Care Bear so that way I can match this Care Bear that CJ got for me in my last vlog at the Luna Park I think it will be so cute to match it is August now already and the weather has been so nice recently so maybe today we're gonna go out I realized after a while that when I stay at home I became anxious <laughs> is that a thing? I get used to being at home a lot and I don't want to go out if I stay too long and then whenever I go out I feel like I would be anxious so to overcome that I just have to go out consistently I found a nail that matches my care bear the most I'm all done with my nails they're a little bit more extra than what I usually do but I guess it's cute we're in downtown Brooklyn once again there's a place that I want to check out, so that's why we're here. There's a 9-11 memorial, you guys. The security here is crazy. You see those like cops with big guns all around over there too? The security here is crazy. Which one? Is this a police station? Yeah, they have the station like on the ground. Currently at Brookfield Palace. I like this art. Over here they have shops and restaurants and things like that. But let's check it out because... Have you been here before? First time. No? First time? Ooh. What do you think they have downstairs? This is a 
Like that, it's really crowded everywhere. Like, can you rent those boats or? Yeah, I think you can. that we were just in the really pretty one yeah. we are on our way to go have dinner now CJ is lost <laughs> we're like trying to go around which way is it three minutes what the street this one is Barclay this one is this one is Berkeley, that's Broadway. We're on Broadway right now, so I think it's Guys, today is actually kind of cold, which is weird. Well, it's a little chilly for me. And it has been super hot like last week. This way? Oh, it's right there. That's where we're going, right there. A little low key restaurant. Here. Do you think they have table? Today is work day. I've actually been working all morning before I decided to pick up this royal. <laughs> You're so loud. She's breathing so hard and she wants to sit on my lap right now. But anyway, I've been working since morning and this is what I've been working on. So this is a painting that I started a long time ago and then I had considered it to be a fail and then I picked it up again and then I added a lot of things i changed everything almost the background and everything i added this checkerboard kind of style i've never done before and i think i like it and uh this morning i've been working a lot on the um adding the threads here and then adding threads there it takes a lot of time to do that you guys know that embroidery takes a lot of time but i also added threads all around here like single threads kind of thing but still there's a lot to do and i don't really know exactly how i want to finish this painting so which which means that i have to work on it on my ipad and sketch a little bit more but i like how it looks so far it's just that it needs a lot of things to be changed royal why don't you go sleep on your own bed now
for real you almost spilled it this dog okay guys so super off topic but y'all know i'm ethiopian and i live in new york and here it's so hard to get in jetta like which is like ethiopian food what's this basically i have it here this it's this is what in jetta is and it's so hard to get here unless you go and buy from restaurants i've been searching up for like ethiopian groceries to see if i can find something and there was one grocery it was all the way in harlem and then now it shut down so then i decided i don't have any other option but to buy it from restaurants even though it's kind of expensive and if you go to restaurants you don't just buy this that like you have to buy the actual meal with it or something like that so last time i went on google i searched up some places then they recommended this Ethiopian restaurant which is kind of close to where I live and they were selling uh, one injera for one dollar so I was like you know what that's not bad I mean it's kind of expensive still but for New York it's not bad that's what I thought and then so I ordered some injera today on DoorDash these people this is not one injera they charge me one roll this is not full like this is like one roll like this i'm about to eat right now that's why i like i have it with me but one roll like this is a dollar and i thought i got one full injera for a dollar <laughs> y'all the struggle that's one thing i don't like about new york i have to eat injera like i'm ethiopian it's like you miss it like you cannot be you can't go without eating that if you're <laughs> where i'm from and so I ended up getting like the sauce. The thing is, if I buy a lot of injera, I thought that I can make the sauce myself. It's very like, honestly, it's very affordable. Like for my parents who are living in Texas, they buy, they, my mom makes the injera herself. It's like really complicated to make it. But to make this stuff, it's affordable living. <laughs> and I could make these sauces and all kinds of things by myself at home. If only I was, if only this is accessible. But anyway, I'm about to eat some... I'm about to try their their food for the first time. I should probably go get a plate, but I'm just trying to taste the food right now. I have washed my hands and everything, so don't come at me. Mmm. 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 It's good. But it's okay. There's only one restaurant in New York so far. Nothing beat that for me. And that is Awash. They have two locations, one in Manhattan, one in Brooklyn. Their their food is so much better than like any other place. And I think their Munjara is cheaper than this one. Now that I found out that it's just a dollar for a roll. The other one is a dollar, maybe a couple of cents for an actual full one Munjara. So for this reason, I always tell my mom, maybe you should come to New York and open an Ethiopian grocery. You'll have like no competition. But then I don't know if there's a lot of Ethiopians here. Maybe that's why there's not a lot of any grocery at all, actually. It is spicy. But anyways, I'm gonna get back to work. <laughs> I think I'm done with this painting. I ad added a lot of things here and there. I added a lot of threads as well. Um, I wanted to create this like perspective that is kind of going this way and here I added the thread to emphasize that and here and here as well. I wanted to show that movement kind of thing and yeah basically I added um, a lot of threads and Added a little bit of highlighting and shadowing and I did that in the bottom as well I think 
I like the perspective on this one as well. I don't normally use a lot of single threads like this, but I thought I would try it today. And I think I like the effect that creates when I add it on top of the painting. But I think overall the painting is kind of simple and playful and quite abstract. My next painting I'm gonna do less abstract. It's gonna be kind of like a figurative painting since I keep going back and forth between figurative and abstract. So. Cause I went in 